Is Elon Musk trillion dollar empire a facade for a dark and shady side? From alleged mistreatment of employees to controversial experiments on animals and even a tumultuous acquisition of Twitter, what lies behind the charismatic persona of the world's wealthiest person? Discover the thrilling truth about Elon Musk empire of secrets. The old adage says, put your money where your mouth is. Well, when it comes to Elon Musk, even his several hundred billion dollars cannot stifle his gift of gab. From his modestly well-off beginnings in South Africa, Musk went on to sow the seeds of his riches in the US and was soon hailed the wealthiest person in the world in 2011. But what do you do when you have so much money you could possibly end world hunger? Instead of breaking bread, Musk started beef. The Tesla CEO and SpaceX founder truly knows what not to say and when to say it. Having built a trillion dollar empire, he has allegedly engaged in some very shady practices along the way. After all, this is the man whose own brother describes him as a savant when it comes to business and his gift is not empathy with people as per time. But Musk's sketchy behavior extends far beyond the business world, having irked everyone from the president to the mother of his child. Times Person of the Year for 2021, the billionaire businessman often comes across as a naughty schoolboy who thinks he can get away with saying and doing almost anything. And judging by his ever burgeoning bank balance, it seems he can, as in this world, Money is everything. From unhinged tweets to allegedly ignoring the mistreatment of his employees, get ready for the shady side of Elon Musk. Before Grimms and Tallulah Riley, there was Justin Musk to whom Elon Musk was married from 2000 to 2008. In an essay by Marie Claire, Justin divulged some rather unpleasant details about her ex-husband. She alleged, among other things, that Elon forced her to dye her dark hair blonde and treated her like an employee. If you were my employee, he supposedly told his then wife, I would fire you. Claiming that she was a mere starter wife, for Elon, Justin wrote that the billionaire initially appeared sweet and charming when he courted her. However, it didn't take too long for the tide to turn. She said he sneakily got her to sign what he called a financial agreement that was in actuality a post-nuptial agreement. They were warning signs. Elon told me, I am the alpha in this relationship, she wrote. I shrugged it off, just as I would rather shrug off signing the post-nuptial agreement. But as time went on, I learned that he was serious. A lengthy divorce followed as Justin fought to regain the wealth she had effectively signed away via the postnup. Speaking with CNBC via HuffPost, she explained that when she signed the document, I trusted that he wouldn't do anything that would put me in harm's way. In an article for Business Insider, Elon refuted his ex-wife's claim and said that he pays her $20,000 a month for spending outside of spousal support. In 2016, Elon Musk founded Neuralink, a neurotechnology company focused on developing devices that can connect to the human brain. Much of Neuralink's work is based around helping people who have had head injuries by implanting devices into the brain, as per Los Angeles Times. However, the firm's work hasn't always been positive. It has faced a slew of animal abuse allegations. In 2020, Peter launched a scathing attack on Musk for his use of pigs in experiments. The organization's president in Greg Newkirk suggested that Musk behave like a pioneer and implant the Neuralink chip in his own brain rather than exploiting smart, sensitive pigs. Musk has also personally faced animal cruelty acquisitions in 2021 he was criticized for sending thousands of baby squeeze and tardigrades into space for experiments. Business magnate Elon Musk published his first tweet on his personal Twitter account in June 2010 and had more than 80 million followers by April 2022. In 2017, in response to a tweet suggesting that he buy Twitter, Musk replied, How much is it? On March 24, 2022, 
Musk began tweeting criticisms on Twitter, polling his followers on whether the company adhered to the principle that free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Days later, he discussed the future of social media with Twitter co-founder and former CEO Jack Dorsey and explored the possibility of joining Twitter's board of directors with private equity firm Silver Lake co-CEO Eden Durbin. He relayed this idea to Twitter board chair Brett Taylor and CEO Parag Agrawal proposing to either take the company private or start a rival social media platform. Dorsey replied to Musk with a text message saying he hoped Twitter could become open source and that he had unsuccessfully pushed for Musk's induction into Twitter's board a year earlier, a move that prompted his departure from his role as CEO. In July, Musk announced his intention to terminate the agreement. asserting that Twitter had breached their agreement by refusing to crack down on spam bot accounts. The company filed a lawsuit against Musk in the Delaware Court of Chancery shortly thereafter, with a trial scheduled for the week of October 17. Weeks before the trial was set to begin, Musk reversed course, announcing that he would move forward with the acquisition. The deal was closed on October 27, with Musk immediately becoming Twitter's new owner and CEO. The deal is done. Twitter has been sold to Elon Musk. Twitter was taken private and merged into new parent company named X Corp. Upon acquiring Twitter, Musk promptly fired several top executives, including previous CEO Parag Agarwal. Musk has since proposed several reforms to Twitter and laid off half of the company's workforce. Hundreds of employees then resigned from the company after Musk issued an ultimatum demanding they commit to extremely hardcore work. Reactions to the buyout have been mixed, with praise for Musk's planned reforms and vision for the company, particularly his calls for greater free speech, but criticism over fears of a potential rise in misinformation, disinformation, harassment, and hate speech on the platform. Within the United States, conservatives have largely supported the acquisition, while many liberals and formal Twitter employees have voiced concerns about Musk's intentions. Since becoming owner, Musk has faced backlash from handling of the company and account suspensions. In 2018, Elon Musk claimed he could take Tesla private at dollar 420 per share with the secured funding. But the SEC later found his tweets to be false and misleading. Musk settled with the SEC, stepping down as Tesla's chairman and paying a dollar twenty million fine. The settlement required Musk to have his Tesla-related tweets reviewed by a lawyer before posting, known as pre-clearance. This case was significant as it marked the first time a CEO was charged with securities fraud for tweets. highlighting the role of social media in finance. While Musk still uses Twitter, he has become more cautious and adopted the pre-clearance process. However, his history of misleading statements about Tesla's financial performance raises concerns for investors. Thanks all for today's video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.